Hi, my name is Debbie Gartner, and I'm known as the Flooring Girl. You can find me at thefloringgirl.com or 914-937-2950. Today I'm going to answer the question about whether or not you can change the color of your hardwood floors. The good news is the answer is usually yes. This of course assumes that you have solid hardwood floors. If you live in the Westchester or New York area or even the Northeast or Mid-Atlantic and you live in a house, chances are you have solid hardwood floors. If you have engineered hardwood floors, that's a different story, um, but with solid hardwood floors, you can sand and refinish them. You may have a different species, um, but usually they are solid and you can refinish them. We refinished hardwood from houses in the 1800s and actually several in the 1700s as well. These pictures here show really the range of colors that you can get on oak. Um, if you look at the one on the left, this is oak natural with no stain color, just polyurethane. The one in the middle is with a red mahogany stain, and the one on the right is with an ebony stain, although typically in real life, the ebony stain looks a little bit lighter and shows the graining a little bit more than this photo leads you to believe. This is why it's really important to test the stain colors. It does look different in the pictures than it does in real life, and the stain colors do actually come out different on everyone's floor. Um, that can vary based on the species. Is it red oak or is it white oak? What grade of oak? How old are the floors? How much of the age? As well as the lighting. We always test three or four different stain colors for our customers so they can choose. As you can see in these pictures, some of the planks are lighter, some are darker. The stain will be absorbed differently and you want to test it really on a small area so you can see what works best on your floor. Please note that the only way to change the color is to actually sand the floors all the way down. When you sand them three times finer and finer grits, it is raw hardwood, but that's the only way to have the stain properly penetrate into the floor. If you try to do it on top of what you have now, it will peel off. Now, if you have some other species, the colors will look different. In particular, if you have Brazilian cherry or Brazilian walnut or some of the exotic hardwoods, those start out darker and many of them have a red tone, natural tone underneath. So those you really can't make lighter than they are. If you look at the one on the right, that is Brazilian cherry. There is no stain on it, just polyurethane. If you sand and refinish it, it will look a little bit lighter than this just from the sanding. But over time, due to the light and the natural aging process, it will look just as this floor does right now. The one on the left is Brazilian walnut, and obviously that's a darker and darker brown. You can make these floors darker, but you really can't make them lighter. This here is an example of one of my customers where she had Santos mahogany, which is very similar to the Brazilian cherry. She did not like the redness in there. She is not alone in this, and she wanted us to drown it out as much as possible. So we tested out some darker stains, and as you can see from the picture on the right, even though it's not the best picture, this is the end result. We tested a few different stains and found that on her floors, dark walnut came out the darkest. This is kind of ironic because Jacobean and ebony are darker stains but they are absorbed differently in each wood, and in this case, the darker walnut looked darker. This does a good job of drowning out the red, but there still are some underlying red tones in there if you look close enough. This looks more like a royal mahogany stain, but this is really you know, the best that you can do to try to drown this out. This next picture shows oak floors with a Jacobean stain. Jacobean is the second darkest, Ebony is the darkest. We will sometimes do a 50-50 blend of Jacobean and Ebony for our customers, um, which gives an espresso color, looks very nice and rich. If you do live in the Westchester area, um, feel free to give us a call. My name is Debbie. You can find me at thefloringgirl.com. You can reach us at 914-937-2950. We bring the store to your door, and my estimates are uh, free of charge. I look forward to meeting you. Thank you.